All right. So guys, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be ranking the Mega Pokemon both competitively and um, aesthetically. So the way it's gonna work is a Pokemon will be ranked first in how we think it is competitive. So let's say Abomasnow is the first one. Let's say Abomasnow is D in competitive. However, it has an option. It can go up or down depending on how we think it is aesthetically. Now, this is my and Gator's opinion. Obviously, you guys can give your own chat, yell at us, do whatever you want. So Gator, Mega Abomasnow. I feel like Mega Abomasnow never was a Mega that like you know had like. Wasn't really doing anything, you know? Maybe the occasional in Trick Room. F? I feel like F is a little bit too much, dude. A little bit too low. <laughs> it's not F. Like, if we're going to establish that Aldino is F, there's no way. Aldino, Aldino is just as bad. But Aldino is definitely not as bad as Mega Bombstone. Mega Bombstone can actually break. has Ice Shard, so it can actually check dragons and stuff. Oh, no. Competitively, yeah, it's a little better, but it looks like garbage. So, F. No, 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 no. You can't just do that. Wait, we have to establish competitive. What would the established okay, competitive? Fine. I feel like fine, E. Fine, fine. I feel like E or D. Yeah, competitively is is an E. Yeah. Just like at least it has like snow warning. It has a niche. Okay. It has a niche and a snow warning. Uh, but like the fact that it can't run left, it's really bulky. But even then, like in no, lower tiers, it was bulky. interesting. Like it's like fake bulk. Yeah. Because it's weak to everything. And rocks and can't run items and everything. I never got to. No, nah, that mod was never really that good in Trick Room anyway. Like I'd rather use abandoned mod or anything like that. But I feel like, like when I use this mod in Yu Yu though, with Swords Dance, it was a beast. But even then, it would just come in on rocks and kill itself. Well, okay, what about what about design though? You don't think E? It's they? You think it's worse? Like you think it's F based on design? Well, this thing, what like what is it? It's just ugly. It's a giant ugly tree. Let me look at it. That that picture isn't good. Mega Obama stuff. That's a, that's this normal picture though, isn't it? Yeah, it is, but it's too small. Right, this is Mega Obama in the in the game. I'll lower the music a little bit. I should be good, and I'll put Gator up a little bit more. You need me to get louder? No, you're good, you're good. you good, you're good. I didn't say that, you're good. I can I can get louder. Thank you. It's not terrible. Is it really F? Is a bomb still really F? It's a giant tree. <laughs> like, <laughs> like this art, this, this, this art, this art, this art, this art, this art always made me love this Pokemon. <laughs> this art was phenomenal. What is that? This art has always been phenomenal. Okay. <laughs> who who drew that? Why did they do that? This was my favorite art to always use on Obama stuff. I think I have a few Wi-Fi battles with it. What's going on in this game? <laughs> who did this? <laughs> it was like some blunder thumbnail or something. No, I, was say, I literally was about to say that. Blunder just made a crappy thumbnail. Okay, yeah. I like Oh, this is my favorite bomb still right here. That's the bomb still. Put it this way. Wait, what? Who is Andy Pandy? What is that? Just, it's not going up. Yeah, it's, it's not. Other, it's not. It's not helping. It's not. It's not. A hundred percent. I agree. But is it bad enough to be F? I don't think it's terrible. Like it's it's it is what it is, right? It's a Christmas tree. At the end of the day. Wait, why don't you have B? What? It just goes A to C. Whatever. <laughs> Who needs uh, whatever? I, I didn't even make this. I think I think E is fine. Like I think, and if we need to move it down based on uglies, we'll do that. Sure. You, I mean, you can keep it there for now. Yeah. Okay. So Mega Obama Snow, never anything ridiculous, right? Like when it first came out, it was good versus balance. That much I remember. It was really good versus balance on PO. I don't know if you ever got swept by this thing. Wait, but, are you talking about Absol now? Or yeah, Absol, Absol, Absol. I feel like um, I feel like in balance it was good. Right, but it was never like a high tier. I feel like if we're establishing a competitive line for it, it would be somewhere in the middle, like C. I think B is too much for Absol, even with its speed and attack. Personally, because when I think of B, I think of like megas that are good but not crazy, like uh, Sharpedo. I mean, yeah, it's probably, like it's just, it's just average. Yeah, I feel, I feel like it's it's an average mon, but I do think its design shoots it up, like. From competitively, like Swords Dance 3 Attack, it's fine. Magic Balance, really cool. You can done Fire Blast, Ice Beam, whatever. You're always going to want the 4 move slot, whatever, with it. it. It was average, I think, as well. And But for, for how it looks... I, I I was putting a bomb still again, my bad. Like Mega Absol, looks pretty clean. I think it loses points because it wasn't... Uh... Alright, that did not help at all. I think it loses points because it wasn't Dark Fairy, which it should have been. 
but like it's art is fire i didn't design uh, yeah it's it's it, it's decent looking i feel like so so does design alone push it up to b i mean sure because it like looks cool to use yeah as far as the mega Pokemon it, it's also thing. like like if i saw you put up a a, a pl live back in the day or a showdown live with mega apps so i'd always click 100 percent. i think that's like that's a big thing like i, I think mega apps is 100 percent clickable hey barka yeah, i feel like it's, it's a pokemon that a lot of people wanted to see do well but did it. but it's like average yeah i, I think these fine okay so mega aerodactyl uh in terms of where it is as a mega it's definitely above average because it was always good. It's, it's amazing in draft. Uh, if we're even taking draft into account, uh, it was really good in UU as well. It was a solid, it was a solid, like if, if, if we're talking like if S tiers, Ubers, A tiers, OU, B tiers, UU, it's B just period. Right. Arrow competitively. I think it's things like A tier. From, from like in itself. Yeah. Why not? Okay. okay talk, talk to me. Talk to me. What's going on? Oh, uh, we're, we're considering draft too, you said, right? Yeah. I think if we have to consider draft, yeah. Because, like, what, like, it's, it's, because it was never, it was never a mega that you, you always got points when you got mega or Dactyls, your mega. Yeah. Right? It was, or, it was always, like, yeah. Points. It was always a value mega. Yeah. It was like really valuable. Like 150 speed. I mean, I don't know. What, wasn't this thing in Let's Go? It was, <laughs> I mean, I had it in Let's Go and it just won every game. It was, it was also broken in Let's uh, Go. We're now. considering Let's Go as well. I mean, it was like most broken Pokemon in Let's Go. Yeah by far in regular draft like, i think that, mega arrow is always good you're right though i mean a for aerodactyl there you go yeah i, I can see a because i have also like so b would be like uu but arrow also puts in work in ou and consistently always did that we've used like ice fang fire fang consistently with tough claws it actually gave it a thing now does mega aerodactyl's design hold it back though because if you look at its design it's honestly just an ugly aerodactyl okay listen it looks better. Actually, does it, it doesn't even look that much better than a regular Aerodactyl. Dude, dude, what? It doesn't look better than Mega Aerodactyl at all. This art kind of makes it look better, but that's not Wait, the official Mega art. Mega Aerodactyl looks better than regular Aerodactyl. No, it does not. What? Regular Aerodactyl is basically, it's like, it's just, it's all smooth and naked looking. Yeah, but bro. Mega Aerodactyl gets all the spiky, sharp stuff. Oh, yeah, that makes spikes make it look good, bro. What are you, seven? Let's make it look on. more threatening. Get out of here. Let me look. Dude, Aer Mega, Aer Mega Aerodactyl. Well, regular air deck looks like a baby, dude. Like, look, just look, came look. Out the Iconic deck. Pokemon card. Iconic. Look at this. Iconic. This is fire. This is fire. That's amazing design. Bro, what is that? <laughs> Iconic, bro. Look at him holding the Draco. <laughs> Iconic. Why does he have that big old mouth? <laughs> I really think dude, it's designed. You just my point with that GX one. That looks dumb. It looks like a toy. What? The, the, look at Mega Arrow. It looks dumb. I don't like. Look, I don't Mega think... Arrow looks like a threat. Hey, look Ron. at that sharp. Look at this sharp chin, dude. You know, you know, touch his chin. I don't think that Mega Arrow looks better than Aerodactyl at all, though. I don't. Look, that's just your nostalgia speaking. It's not nostalgia. It's the fact that this does not look that good. Okay, that looks more. Mega Aerodactyl looks more threatening, though, which means better. No, that that's is my not. criteria. For no, that, what? It looks more threatening. It, look, it looks more of a savage. It looks it, more like a savage like that. I'm gonna tell you straight up, this is the hardest mod to make a thumbnail with, period. Period. Because what are you talking about? there's no good art. All the art is small and it doesn't look appealing. It just doesn't. Just take that one right there. The one you're looking at. You about to you about to make me put it Okay, what about this one? Huh? Huh? I don't know what that is. That That's, <laughs> that's Mega Aerodactyl. Like, oh. That's Mega Aerodactyl <laughs> by the Angry Aaron. Who is a well, respected a respected artist because I've used the Angry Aaron for years. <laughs> respected artist. Listen, the Angry Aaron, what he messed this one up though. I don't know what he did, he but he messed it up. He copied what it looks like, dude. You know what the worst nah, part? You, 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 know worst part you know what the worst part about Mega Aerodactyl? This is the worst part. When you go on Bulbapedia, the image they give you is low quality. Like the best image they give you is this low quality, barely faded type of 553 by 553 pixel. Dude, Dude, just draw your own one. Bro, I'm, okay, I'm not going to drop it because you're arguing for it, but I'd hella put it in B just based on design. I don't think Mega... I don't think Mega... Do think I think it regular... Would move it to B just on design. Okay, okay, think of it in this perspective. You said nostalgia is what's keeping me with Aerodactyl, right? And you said by design, it's that much better. I argue that it's not better. Now, keep in mind, my Pokemon came out in 1990, what, 6, 7? This Pokemon came out in freaking 2014-15. They had 
almost 20 years to get a mega aerodactyl right 2013 well, then, 12 what, what would you have done to what would you have done for mega aerodactyl oh then? this is the easiest thing bro uh what's that thing from zoids um man you know what this is what i would have done to mega aerodactyl I would have made a Mega Charizard X, bro. That's what I would have done. I would use its colors. <laughs> I would have put some. I would have put some flames, and that thing would have been rock and fire. That would be so bad. That's what I would have made Mega. <laughs> Hold up. Let me see rock Mega. Fire. Let me just see. Let's just see some concepts what they had. Concepts. All right. Thank you. Ah. I would have made it this. This would have made Mega Aerodactyl Pegasus. Ponytail Rapidash. The, that Rapidash one doesn't even actually. That Rapidash one was kind of clean. It does look clean. Uh, th there you go. I but, but, well, okay. <laughs> oh, this, okay. This, the is, the, this is easily it the best one. Have the spikes. It does. All right, I'm going to keep it in A. I'm going to keep it in A. A for Aerodactyl. That's my final thing. If you want to put it in B, go ahead. But nah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it A. I'll keep it A. Enough people are on both sides that I'll keep it A. Now, when it comes to Aggron, competitive-wise, B. It's always been decent. You know, doesn't die. It's great in draft. I've used it in draft multiple times. I just think it's a... It's a solid. Yeah, I think I think C is too low for it, considering it's a really good UU Mon too, which is around B area as well. Now... I don't know if, I definitely below Absol in terms of how it looks, but in terms of how it looks, I think that Mega Aggron is okay. In this art, in this art, it looks good. In this art, it looks good, but that is not the Mega Aggron I know. Oh, uh, is it like it's just kind of just like a blob? I yeah, know, just... like in this art, it looks cool. It looks like it's actually doing something, but like this is the art I know, and it just looks like a slow. Like a slow, a bulky big old version. Metal. Yeah, like regular Agron is one of the coolest mods ever. Agron Hyper Beam GIF. Like they just chromed him out or something. Yeah. Okay. Like look at my homie using Hyper Beam. Or look at the, look at this. Like that's one of the water pulse. Okay. Agron is fire. Agron is scared of fire, bro. I think I think uh, Mega Aggro was a step down, personally, in terms of looks. But yeah, but like it, we have it in B, right? Yeah, we have it in B. I, I think that's where it belongs. Yeah, I think I, I would say low B. Yeah. All right. What about Mega Alakazam? All it did was get more spoons. <laughs> now, competitive wise, it's an A, easy. Like it has to be A for sure. Competitive wise, easily. Uh, if we're A. If it's, yeah, if we're talking about even let's go, there was a time where Mega Alexan was the best Mega in OU. Bro, if you're talking about competitive wise, that thing's that has to be S. Come on, bro, we have Mega Rayquaza, and Mega Salamence, and Mega Gengar here. Are you sure it has to be S designed by S? Like Dude, five million speed trace. Like, I'll make an S plus. I'll make an A plus, but I will not make it S. I'll make S minus. Okay, like if you're gonna, yeah, it, I mean, it wouldn't be like S S like top, but it would be like low S. How do you make another one of this? Add a row below. But yeah, it's, it's not it's not as good as like the Uber Megas, but it's like it's a step above. Like we already had Aerodactyl, it's definitely a step above Aerodactyl for competitive. All right, we'll put we'll put S plus. There you go, S S plus. There it goes. Yeah, I mean even right now it gets NASA plot too. Like if it ever comes back, <laughs> and trends. I think that's an easy S, and I think that even if its design is like literally Alakazam who didn't shave and just found a few more spoons. Like that's legitimately what it is. It's it's unshaven Alakazam. It's a it, it it makes sense. Like it looks like it's a more like wiser version yeah. of Alakazam. Yeah. That boy has been fasting, which is really ironic because it's tempting itself with all these spoons. But like, it's a it's an S. I think it's S easily. Yeah, I mean you got five spoons, dude. You never run out of spoons. Yep, never eat, never run out of spoons. And just broken mind. Just if you hit focus blast, it's the most broken mind on the planet. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Definitely. This mod also has recover. It's fat. It's amazing. All right, what about Mega Alt? Like B. Mm, like, Competitively, like like a like a yeah like a B. Like a B. It's definitely up there with these guys. Always been a good. 
I think there was a time where Mega Altaria was actually one of the best Pokemon in OU as well. We all thought it was broken. And then it just like stopped being one of the strongest ones. It's so, like from Borderlight, it's definitely definitely a B. Dragonance was always good. Uh, Dragonance Refresh was one of its best sets in UU. It was constantly beating its counters as well when paired with Magneton as well. Beat Latias, beat Crocodile back in the day too. So B. Now, Mega Altaria's design. <laughs> Yeah, I love his design. I think the design moves it up. Yeah, honestly, like it's not. I gotta stop looking. Like up. compared to regular regular Altaria, I'm sorry, it it's just whack. looks dumb. It's whack. It's really whack. It's honestly, dude, this is my favorite mega, regular Altaria. There you go. But if you think about it, Mega Altaria is just Altaria with the cloud moved up a little bit. And they they shaded it out a little bit. It definitely does look better. Like a little more graceful. Yeah. And still like puffy and cute. I'm, I'm, I might be a little biased towards it. I mean, it's a good mod. I, I used it in draft, but it's I definitely something. use it. You think it move up because of its design? Yeah. You think it moves up more than Absol because of its design? Well, Absol was C. Absol moved up to B, right? Because of its design? Yeah, I have someone from C to B. Okay. Okay. I can move it up. It definitely is a plus in this design. And we did mention that we moved them up. And either it would go up here or go here. So we can move up to A from design. It was also one of those megas that like, if we're going back to competitive, it's one of those mods that could always sweep from any point. I think. Like, it's like, mm -hmm. it's like arrow. It will always be good. Drop arrow to, drop arrow to B minimum, bro. It's a good mod. Ooh, Fabio. <laughs> so Fabio is a C tier. Trash. It's a C tier mod. It is a C tier mod. It's if it's, I... it's competitively is at least D. And design makes it a C. <laughs> if we if we don't think about Hida for Hida, which we do have to think about because that was competitive, this mod is one of the most respectful mods there ever was. Now I did use it in draft. And I did lose a lot of games because I never pulled <laughs> the I never pulled the right rest talk. I remember, and it always got crit too. However, on showdown, it always did the right thing. Now, based on design, it is a hundred percent an upgrade from regular. It's easily C tier, based on that. Why do you time out Ellen Dilly when you see Ellen Dilly? You deserve that. Look, competitively, it is. Not as bad as a Mega Bomb Snow, but it's pretty bad. Yeah. However, design does, I think, bring it up. For sure. I think that's fine. All right. So Mega Bayonet is, uh, it's kind of like, it's weird. It's a mod app. I mean, do we have to? Oh, what? All right. I put an F and just like moved on. Like, are we? All right, Gators. Jeez. So tell me, what do you think about Mega Aladino and competitive? F. Okay, now what do you think about Mega Adino's design? Ugly. Yeah, okay. So moving on. There's not really much else to do there. Had it kept Regenerator, it would actually be a good Pokemon. But most of the time, whenever I use Mega Adino, just to explain, most of the time, whenever I use Mega Adino, I resulted to not Mega Evolve, so I can keep my Regenerator, and then only Mega Evolve when I can click Trick Room, so I would always live. What up, Nightshade? All right, so in terms of competitive, I think Bayonet is about the same as Obama Snow E. Uh, it's main redeeming. Like, it has... I don't understand how a Pokemon with, like, 471 attack can hit so weak. And I think that's only because it has, like, Knock Off, Sucker Punch, and Shadow Sneak as attacks. Now, had it had Poltergeist, maybe. Maybe that's something that could do something for it, but it didn't exist during Poltergeist meta. Um, design doesn't really help it much. I think it's one redeeming factor in competitive is the fact that you can prank through Destiny Bond. And it was cool. As it's a spin blocker and it can just kill itself to do something else. Design doesn't help it. Does it go down to F? Or what do you think? Mm, I think E is fine. But yeah, like the fact that it has a quick shadow claw and garbage like that yeah. is, is just no good. And yeah. like the rest of his stats besides the attack are just like... Average eh. at best. Like... Okay, so Mega Beedrill is amazing. All right. I think, I think Mega Beedrill is an easy B tier. Like in terms of what it did, it's fine. It could work in OU, it could work in UU. Let's go as well. And then in terms of design, it's incredible. 
as well. I think it's such a it's such a big upgrade from Bijou, and it's just a bigger stinger as well. But <laughs> it it is. But I do think in terms of competitiveness, it's a B. It wasn't bad. It was always threatening. Uh, yes, it's weak to rocks, and yes, U turn and punishing it. But like those poison jabs hurt. Those U turns hurt. Stab U turn is just a big thing. Knock off is good. People trying to fell stinger the lower ladder, trying to fell stinger you to death. Why is Beta E? Just go back in the video a little bit, my friend. I mean, you just tell him because it's garbage. I mean, that's all you gotta say. Garbage. Yes. Yep. Yeah, you turned to damage to resistances. It even had drill run to damage steals as well. I think it's a solid drill run. Yeah. You just missed that okay. point. Don't even click it. I'm by, I'm by missing. I don't mind missing. But yeah, you click U-turn. And the fact that this Pokemon came in or came out when fairies were so good is a big thing as well, I think, for, for Beedrill. I would unfortunately, Landorus still existed. Yeah. But. but even then, like, I've beaten Landorus with Beedrill. By just U-turning or Poison Jab getting the 30% yeah, yeah, yeah. and then they get worn down. Good player. Good player alert. Yeah, we take yeah, I, think, I think B is fine because yeah. uh, it's, it's named Beedrill, so you put it in B. That's my analysis. I think it's designed makes it like higher tier b but i don't think his design pushes it up to a no i think it's like like here with absol yes it's like it's like higher tier b I can't like move above you. aggron yeah above aggron for sure but like higher tier b i agree all right bro what do you think about mega blastoise now let's not think about the shell smash mega blastoise because that doesn't actually exist but it will if it does come back that'll make it broken Competitively, which thing about Mega Blast? Mega Blast we saw? Uh, one, two, three. Hmm. Only one cannon. Com Excellent. I'm talking about Buddy Gator. Competitively, Mega Blastoise was a broken Pokemon in RU. Competitively, it was it was a pretty busted Pokemon at times in RU. Yeah, that's RU. That's RU. That yes. means that means it was in RU. Yes. I mean, for me, it's like C. Yeah, I think so too. Like like C is what I'm looking at as well. Like, why are you, like, there's no reason, there's almost no reason. There's some, you, you could use it in the OU, you could use but, like, there's as well. very little reason to. Remember when we played Let's Go and that, your Mega Blasters lived? Well, that's, that's Let's They're Go. They're not coming back. I mean, yeah, like, competitively, uh, it's above, it's above Fabio competitively, but design-wise, it might be behind Fabio. <laughs> like, why would you go from two cannons? <laughs> To then one big it's a weird hunch cannon bag. on your head. Yeah, which you don't even fire all out of, which is hilarious, by the way. You don't even fire out of it, which is the Wait, biggest thing. No, it did it. They didn't make the animation for that. Dude, what a, he, they should have made his eyes cannons. And he has like laser cannon eyes. Yes. You know what I'm yes. I don't understand why it's one big old like dong on his head. And I, I, I legitimately it. think it's design. Doesn't make it D tier, but it does put it behind Fabio. I really, I actually think regular Blastoise looks better than Mega Blastoise. Mega, regular Blastoise does look better. It's way cooler. And there's some amazing yeah. Blastoise art out there as well. Yeah, design puts it down a little bit. Yeah. Anyway, Mega Blaze again. Are we starting off in S plus or competitively S plus? Competitively? So, can, wait, the, the, can Blaze get close combat? Yep. And, uh, can it always do that? Or was uh, it just no, it could. Thing? It's just this gen, but in Ubers, you just low kick everything. It's one twenty base power. I mean, yeah, low kick because everything's fat. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I you, guess that's fair. You're like you're killing Kyogre with Stealth Rock. I think it's S minimum, like in terms of that. We For competitive, yeah. It's uh, we can put we can put S. It's above Alakazam in terms of that because like, Life or Blaziken was a little bit better back in the worst one. Yeah. It was worse than regular, but in Ubers, this one was way better than regular. Because the overall bulk actually let it like live neutral hits, but also because the initial power of uh, of low kick as well. Now design, I think Mega Blaziken looks great, and Blaziken's already a great Pokemon. Mm, yeah, it looks like he like powered up or something. something. Yeah, all the flames coming off of him. Easily, like comparatively, Blaziken's already a great Pokemon. And they just made it power up, like legit. Yeah. See, look, this is why Aerodactyl is good. You see, Aerodactyl no. gets some spikes, Blaziken gets some flames. Because regular, no. regular Blaziken is starting to look, he look naked, dude. Like you're missing something, something. And they gave it to Mega Blaziken. The same thing that happens with Aerodactyl. <laughs> Nightshade for about 10 years, buddy, since 2010. Um, Does design push it up to S plus or just top of S? I think top of S. Yeah. 
Like, I don't even think about it, because if S plus is like, if S plus is going to be like Pokemon like Rayquaza and stuff, or Rayquaza might even be above, whatever that is. Um, I don't think Blaze is up there with them. Mega Camo, bro. C or D. Or do you think it's higher based on how Chimpak used it in Draft League? Mega Camo is E. <laughs> the thing, I mean, like, it's competitively mediocre and looks awful. It's not, okay, it wasn't mediocre in its time, though, because Tapu Koko was so common. And it could use, like, nature power no and stuff. No one is using Mega Camera up just because Tapu Koko exists. Facts exalted. Thank you for the cheer, by the way. I do, I do think it's, like, E or D. It does, it does blow stuff away with, uh... I think, I think D is better. I think it's easier to use Mega Camera up than it is to use Mega Bomb Snow or Mega Bayonet in competitive. And it actually has use in OU. And yeah, that's fine. Like, yeah. competitively, it's a D. I just think it looks horrendous. I also think it looks horrendous. But I don't think it's to the level of a bomb of snow. No, it's pretty... Dude, like, it's supposed to have, like, a volcano or something on his back. That's not what it's looking like. Hold it's on, like hold my on, science hold on. Or something. <laughs> hold on, let's, let's look at camera up. Let's look at camera up. Oh, they're right next to each other. My humps, my one hump. It's smiling. Okay, got some confidence. You see the confidence is hair up like Super Saiyan? Hold up. That's some style points. What are you talking about? <laughs> it, went, it went Super Saiyan. Dude, the regular camera up actually looked kind of cute in that one picture. And then I don't know what Mega's trying to do. Well, he's smiling, he's bro. He's hard. trying his best. That's what he's trying to do. Yeah, he's trying too hard to do something he just can't I do. I think it looks better than that. I'm going to keep it D, bro. I'm going to keep it D. All right, you can keep it D. Man. It can be got high tier D. I don't think it goes higher. Ooh, Mega Zard X, bro. That's an easy A. Competitively, that's an easy A. I think it's an easy A over S because uh, we had a lot to just check it, right? Like La Landris, Hippo, like just naturally, right? We had some fat mods to check it, but it's also one of those mods like in draft, doesn't need attack investment, doesn't need to do this, has roofs. I think it's an easy A competitively. Like, legit. Yeah. Easy A. Design is freaking pushing it up, in my opinion, too. It's a damn Zard X. It's the, it's our first. It's our Dragon type Charizard, which it should have been. I think design pushes it to S as well. But that's my opinion. What do you think? Mm. If we I moved, mean, it looks better than Zard yeah. Y. So and if yeah, we and if we moved Aerodactyl and Altaria up for design, I think we have to move Charizard up for design, just by law. I I can see it in S. I mean, like low S. Yeah, low S. Now Zard Y is Zar 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 Zar. <laughs> It's Charizard with just bigger horns. But competitively, Zar Y is an A as well. Shoot, Zar Y might even be an S competitively. Are, are blue flames hotter than red flames? Yes. Blue is hotter and then white is hottest. I feel like then, shouldn't, shouldn't Zard Y have blue flames then since Zard, it has drought? Zard Y should have white flames, personally. I think actually white flame would have done Ooh, it. White flames. That would have been sick. In terms of spammability, Zard Y is way more of an S than Zard X is. Zardex has to kill itself. Zardy dies to rocks, but it also kills Mons. Well, get that thing out of S. What are you doing? It's S based on competitive. Competitively. Zardy? Zardy is easily an S case on competitive, dude. All of its answers get pursuit trapped. What are you talking about? What what do you talk what do you mean what I'm talking about? When it was when it was played, every single answer to Zardy gets pursuit trapped. It has weather ball now too, but I guess that's not a thing. And also, you just miss all your moves with Zardy. GG. But based on Zard the Zard... Zard X feels more... Compared to wise, Zard X felt more consistent. I don't know. Like, you were getting what you... Unless you miss will or some nonsense. But, like, you feel like you are you know what you're getting out of the mod. I don't know, man. Zardy... Zardy is one of the strongest competitive mods we ever had. Because it doesn't have to worry about... Only rocks is all that to worry about. Besides that... Now it has Weather Ball, too. But I guess we can't, we're not taking into account that because we're taking into account that the blasters get shot smashed and stuff like that. Zara design though definitely drops it to high tier A. <laughs> its design was, Maybe. its design was like, look. I spelled Charizard wrong, whatever. Its design did nothing for it. We're doing it first based on competitive, and then we're doing it secondly based on. So they get they get a certain spot based on competitive, and then they move up or down based on design. Unfortunately, Zard Y. I mean, 
This mod would be cool if it was just Charizard itself. But because I already know what regular Charizard looks like, no problem. Because I already know what regular Charizard looks like, they didn't do enough for this design. All this Charizard did was get its wings cut and its horn grew. That was it. All they did was clip its wings. Hey, it chisel his face a little bit. This Charizard, way cooler than Zar Y, completely. That's Smash, too. But this is art? That's his art. Zar Y design is not greater than Zardex's design. That's that's hey, right. They gave it like white flames or something. That's what I'm saying. Like, color up. like they not only should they have given it white flames, they should have. Um, I think they should have just changed the entire thing. Like the entire the wing should have been made of flames too. Because this one's supposed to be the hotter one, right? So this should have been white, and the whole wing should have been like legitimately made of flames with white outline. Like white outline. If anybody's an artist in the chat and wants to draw what we're talking about, I would love to see it. Zard Y does not look better than Zardex. That is that is unfacts. I'm sorry. Just the flames coming out of Zardex's mouth already does more for it. Dude, Zard Y looks worse than regular Charizard. Exactly. Basically like G-Max Zard, yeah. You don't like X's wings? I think they look fine for what he is. Let's go, Key. I'll make it easier for us. All right, that's an A. Mega DNC, bro. What you think? Competitively? A tier? Minimum? Yeah. Competitively, probably A. Like, I don't know. Every time I went against a DNC, I, I was always, like, worried. I mean, it had a great move pull. It's one redeeming factor back in the day was that, at least when it was more common, was that the speed took a while. Like, the speed tiers were in auto. And then they became auto. Which made him scarier. And just magic bounce is just so annoying. Yeah, it is. And with protect as well. Like even when it didn't need protect, protect was still good. I think competitively it's it's easily an A. What about design wise though? I'll put it high A. It Wait, is, is it just is it, is it a rock? Like is that what it's supposed to be? Is a rock or a crystal thing? Like I don't actually Thank know what it is supposed to be. Thank you very much, Cheese, for that. It's a I said look. It's a, it's a, it's a crystal. Dancy versus Mega. Dance. I like how it looks. It looks like a little princess or something. It has a skirt of diamonds. They made regular Dancy look really cute in this too. So this is regular Dancy. Gotcha. Thank you for the year, fam. This is regular Dancy. That's cute. And then, uh, are these gifts? Ooh, I actually have a little bit more respect for Mega Dancy now after looking at that gif. I feel like the... I don't know. I really like it. That's decent. Does Mega Dancy have legs? Or does it just have just a diamond thing? Crystal thing? I think it's just the crystals. We're, we're ranking it based on competitive viability, and then we're going uh, based on designs. Hey, Ike. It's just diamonds, but I do think it's a step up from DNC. I think A is fair. I'll put it as. I'll actually like how it look. You think it goes all the way up? I guess technically, if we move these guys up, it should go up to S as well. It is really hard to switch into too. It is one of those mods that, like, it will get it will get kills when you use it. It's really easy. It's spammable like Zard Y, in a sense. Yeah, I like guess. Like it's just it's pretty consistent too. Yeah. I mean Moonblast is broken. Yeah, Moonblast, Moonblast is hella broken. It does get mystical fire now if it comes back, yes. Mega good laid. Competitively, what a B? Well, if you think about draft league, it's pretty high tier, but yeah, overall, comparatively, like, like B, B high, to, high B. Yeah, I think high B for, like, that mod overall competitively. If it's just solely based on draft, it'd probably be A. But it's it's not. It's a mix. And it's definitely not C tier. No, it just has solid stats. It's I mean, it's a fighting type with a bunch of attack. Like, yeah, good speed. I think that the problem was that during its meta, again, it was fighting against, like, an onslaught of fairies. And we did have a lot of, like, counterplay as well. But its 350 base speed was cool. 
Uh, but then you have to decide between Zen Knock and Close Combat versus like Shadow Sneak Ice Punch. Like it's it's weird to use competitive. It wasn't even like it's not spammable. Like it's not as spammable as you would think a Pokemon with 350 speed and a million attack would be in Swords Dance. Yeah, it's like it's not. It doesn't have Scrappy like Mega like Loft. Well, it does or... have it does have Inner Focus. So oh wait, yeah, I, 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 yeah, you're talking about you can actually just click button. Never mind. <laughs> I think you can actually. Hit I didn't Pokemon. think you were, I didn't think you were actually talking about like blocking Intimidate. My bad. Um, yeah, you're right. Uh, how it looks though. Gotta look at Mega. So what is that thing? It's like, a cape. what, what it's is the thing on his arm? Is that a dual disc? It is a dual disc. It is Kaiba's dual disc. Uh, so, is this like a Pokemon Yu Gi Oh crossover? It's supposed to be Scythes, right? Like, just bigger Scythes? It was, it was, but it was still Yu Yu. It sounds broken. Its legs look the same. Wow, the only thing they did differently was give it a cape. Is it is it, is it delayed supposed to be like a vegetable? Like the, I don't know. When I look at it, I think of a vegetable. It, it, does look like, it looks like an onion. It, look, it has the colors of an onion. Uh, the the long onions. You know which one I'm talking about? The uh, scat was it, is it scallions? Are they called scallions? What's it called? <laughs> I don't even. I don't know. I literally don't know. I just look at it and I think vegetable too. <laughs> it it is. It's uh this. It's the onions that are. Uh, no, it's the long onions, bro. It looks like a scallion. It's literally a scallion, which is a long-necked onion. Are you kidding me? Y'all just dumb. And by y'all, I mean my friend Key. Damn. A scallion is a long-necked onion, and it's literally what Galate is. It is. It, no, this, you're right. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, like the the thing with like the it's it, green and then the white bottom. It or whatever. is. You just you just cut off the part. You cut off Galate's head, and you can eat it. That's basically it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and you can chop off the lower parts and the higher parts. That's it. Yeah, like, I mean, like, like design wise, I think Mega Glade at least looks a little better than regular Glade. It's, but just, like, it's just the cape, but like, it's not even, it's not helping it enough to push it up at all. No, yeah, I, don't, I don't think it's enough to like give it a reason to move it up over it. Yeah. Okay, uh, Mega Garchomp. <laughs> what a disappointment. <laughs> It's good on Sam, but what a disappointment, man. Did Garchomp get Dragon Dance? Nah, I got Scale Shot. Which, oh. is, which is really good on it. What up, DaVinci? Yeah. Hey, if anybody out there has Twitch Prom, feel free to use it. Free to subscribe to me. And follow if you ain't. Uh, so Garchomp competitively, I'd still put it around B. Like, on Sand teams, it is a threat. It is scary to switch into that Earthquake. It has Stone Edge, it has Fire Fang, it has... It has Dragon Claw. You can't say it has Stone Edge. I know it misses, Guard. but it's a legitimate, like, thing. At least. At least now it'll be. Hey! Joe, thank you. And I think Mega Chomp is fine comparatively. Like, I mean, you can't... If you compare it to regular Guard Chomp, you're going to be disappointed. Obviously. But, like, if you don't do that, I mean, you can't ignore a Pokemon that's Dragon Ground typing with 170 base attack. Exactly. And it's very... It's still bulky. It, it's like, B. It's I, think it, I think it's B. Like... I think it's B. It's, I don't think it's A. I don't. Like even if it's stronger no. than whatever, I don't think it's like. No, it's that's it's definitely, it's definitely not A. Yeah, it's B. I'm gonna put it right here somewhere. Whatever. Who cares? Uh, my boy, did you? I think I, I played you too. You were fighting. You fought my uh, my Berserker, right? But I wasn't really getting wrecked. So I was just using Berserker. Uh, <laughs> now if we talk about how it looks it probably has to be back here <laughs> the back of b in terms of design i well, don't actually, I, that mod is ugly but it's so, i think it's so disrespectful i think it's competitiveness is holding it from falling down to c i think this is just straight up disrespectful i think back no, of, you can't like if you look at what we have in c right now you, you can't do that yeah you have to keep it. it has to be back of b i think it has to be back of b gardevoir competitively if it hit bro that's an easy a in terms of spammability, it ha it's way easier to spam than any of these mons out here, for sure. Besides, yeah. besides that, it's, it's it was a hundred percent easier to spam than all those. Uh, Hyper Voice is strong, Psy Shock is strong. Um, Taunt, Focus Blast, Hidden Power, Fire back in its day, it's basically Deancey but slower. 
in a sense. Like, uh, offensively. It's the Yancey, but slower. Oh, it hits way harder than yeah. the Yancey. Yeah. I think uh, even before they nerfed it, man, even after they nerfed it, it was still pretty strong. So what is, like, why did the dress get poofier? It, it, like, what did, what did that mean when she mega evolves? Like, regular Gardevoir is like, has like a slim cloak thingy or whatever. And then she mega evolves and she has like this big old dress thing. Like, what, what happened? She got thick, bro. What's your thing? That's not what happened. <laughs> okay, well, how else would you explain it? Let's look at Gardevoir. <laughs> Like Gardevoir from Gen 3 to Gen 6, you know, she ate a little bit food, she got older, she got the mom hips. You see, right here, this is her. You know, Whoa, her, her prime, maybe 20, <laughs> 21, 2021, 20, whatever. And then you got Mega Gardevoir, who was like, hmm, well, this is Widow Mega Gardevoir. So, is that actually because she got Bajonkadonk? Honestly, it just looked like she got a big dress. It looked like she went back in time. Nah, it's definitely because she got it. Oh, she just got a big old booty? Man, we got to put her up at A tier. <laughs> Wait, no, it's a lie. Who opened this up? Who opened up Gardevoir? It's a lie, bro. It was a lie. It's, it's all fake. Look at the legs. What the? Look at the legs. Look at the thighs. It's all fake. After, yeah. quick, after, 100%, 100%. quick. 100%. Nah, I mean, you can see it right here as well. It's just her dress got bigger. This is really, this is a really cool, this is really good art though. Like, I I, I would click on this art for like a video. Like, well, damn, this is a really cool Mega, uh, Mega Gardevoir. Yeah, it actually looks sick. Yeah, like this, the offensively, the way it looks, the stand, it looks like, you know, maybe the dress is just like to, to represent the power. Bro. <laughs> yeah, you gotta stop screaming. <laughs> To represent the power. Bro, stop. Look right under that. Look at those big old honkers. You gotta stop. <laughs> Wait, I can't I gotta stop scrolling? <laughs> no, just right down here fucking page. I see some big old <laughs> juices. Oh. Put it like here. That's pretty cool. Strong. That artwork was really good. Yeah, she she should be major. Is uh Mega Gengar S plus because of uh Shadow attack, like it has the ability. I, I, think, I think it's S plus. Yeah, if we're it, gonna put something S plus, that should be S plus. It has the ability to beat. It can pick and choose what it beats. And it also looks sick. It does like look that, sick. It does look. And there's more. There's more. Like there's Mega Gengar, uh, Pokin. Like Mega Gengar looks sick in this too. And it using its full, like attack and stuff. Ah, this is my S plus easily. Easily. One of the greatest competitive mods now has NASA plot. Compare song and hypnosis can literally pick and choose what it beats. The freest S plus ever. Yeah. Okay. Megalele. Competitive. Do you think it's above? So I'm like leaning between these two. Do you think it's above? Uh, I, I see. I see. I, you put it right beside that camel. You really think Mega Glalie competitively? It's mediocre competitively, and it looks stupid. It's not mediocre competitively, dude. It has an explosion. It's mediocre. It has the strongest explosion. It's definitely. I don't care if it has explosion. I don't think I got. I, let me. I gotta see where this mon was in the the last generation. Sword and Shield Gen Seven UU. Wow, it was NU. Yeah, this thing is booty. Damn, what the hell? It's better now. Yeah, right there, Camel. You're good. Competitively, uh, design, I like it better than Camel. Isn't that your thing, Spikes, Aerodactyl? Yeah, you can put it, I mean, as long as it's D tier. But, like, they're, they're about the same. Like, they're both mediocre competitively and look kind of weird. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. I think it's just bad in, in, in NU because Slow King was there. Yeah, you literally just click Explosion. Okay, Mega Gyarados, competitively first. A, a or a. B? Yeah, A. Like, but how it looks, yeah, dude. This is just annoying competitively. It is. You didn't have to mega it. You don't have to mega. You can get the moxie. It's bulky. It's very bulky. Yeah, it's it's insanely bulky. And it has a good amount, a healthy amount of resistances. Dude, I don't like how it looks though. Like I think it's a downgrade from Gyarados. No, nah, it looks weird. It looks like a shrimp. Yeah. Like there's well, one, there's know. one art. This is the one art that's redeeming for it out of all the art out there because of the way they stretched it out. 
But regular Gyarados is still cooler. But like this regular art, no. It's a damn kite. This art only thing only redeeming factor. But this is a normal one. I think I think it's fine. Like either leads B or bottom of A. Uh, I think bottom of A is appropriate though. Yeah, I think it's just all staying A, but it, it looks it looks pathetic. Yeah, I don't I don't like it. It's, it's whack. Heracross competitively. Another one of those like, you know, it is it is a spam mod in my opinion. It's, it's, it's like the late tier. It's like, yeah. they're good fighting types, but they just get overshadowed by better fighting types. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's tough because, like, it played in the Clefable metagame where it wasn't ever really overpowering Clef. Like, it has that natural bulk, which was cool. Like, it get in. I, I would get. I put it Gallade level, but a little bit. I put it higher than Gallade, honestly. I'm probably, uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, like high B. Yeah, like high. I, I, design wise, I think just. Holds it back. It's it's ugly. Like they, I, I, they should have went like the buzz swole route. They just make it swole. Yep, swole big. But That's not. Right. But they swole. They swelled up like the wrong parts of his body. Like yeah, I don't did. understand what those arms are. Like that's not muscles, like right? Like just what them, is that? Them Popeye arms. Yeah, and then why the nose? <laughs> I don't know what was going on here. I think we just leave it there. Like I would put it down lower because of it, but I feel like its competitiveness puts it. Like I think this is appropriate. That's fine. I don't think Where it ever that? goes up to A. I think it just stays here. Yeah, that's fine. Design is worse than Ab Absol, but a competitiveness puts it above Absol, in my opinion. It just stays. He doesn't have a chance of moving. Mega Hound Doom. On Sun is a threat, but I mean... Mm, poop. C? Probably C. Probably C, low B. Com competitively? Yeah. I mean, it's... I don't, I don't think it's B at all. Like It's, it's like a C or like... I mean, uh, not probably like low C, dude. Like, I don't, I don't think it's that good. Toss Fabio C tier. Well, Fabio was D, but got moved up because of how it looked. Let me look where Houndoom was in the gen. Houndoom was R U B L. Yeah, sounds about right. I think C is fine. Like here, how it looks probably puts it a little bit higher, like above blast. I really like how it looks. Like, actually, it looks threatening. It's not that threatening, but it looks threatening. <laughs> That's awesome, Joe. You mean this mod worse than Camel? This mod not worse than Camel. It's definitely around here. I'm still putting Fabio because Fabio definitely has the, like, one of the best upgrades. Is Mega Kanga S? Because of size of toss? Competitive? Yeah. Like, it's just a double fake out. The size, it's literally size of toss. Like, you're 2 way killing every Pokemon. Like, you're somewhere here. Looks... It's a freaking Kangaskhan that took its baby out of its pouch. It did nothing. But I mean, regular Kangaskhan still looks cool. Regular Kangaskhan is a very cool Pokemon. I don't disagree. I don't think it moves it up at all. I'm a man. I don't do it. I don't think Mega Kangaskhan has S+. At all. And I can fight for it too. I don't, I don't think it's S+. I think, I think Blaziken is above Mega Kangaskhan. At worst. Are we, are we talking about combined competitive? Competitive plus looks. Blaziken's easily above Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan can two no kill every. No shot. Like, Kangaskhan can two kill everything with uh with Sizen Toss. Yeah, Blaziken does the same thing with Low Kick. Sometimes it gets Oko's too. I probably like. I'm not sure yet. Did I play? Did I play VGC? I did. I did play VGC. Obviously competitive. It's up here. Yes, I know competitive. Blah blah. blah. You guys are the reason they nerfed all our stuff for singles. But I don't, I, from a singles competitive standpoint, I don't think it's above Billy's again. I don't. Put it above Billy's again. Just do it. Why? Just do it. Why? I need to know why. Because Capelli is a beast and it still looks good. But so is Blaziken. Mm. Blaziken is a beast and it looks good. And every turn, Blaziken gets stronger and stronger. Mm, what, what tier was Blaziken? Didn't Blaziken drop to like UU, regular Blaziken? Is it or some nonsense? Yeah, and regular Kangaskhan's PU. What's your point? Like, My point is, there ain't much of a difference between regular Blaziken and Mega Blaziken. There's a huge difference between regular Kangaskhan and Mega Kangaskhan. It's a big enough difference where it's be ahead of Blaziken. 
You think it's better competitively? I think I guess the overall. I, I didn't play Ubers that much, but just just like from my look at it, it looks like it is. But I don't know. I didn't in play, Ubers, I no. In Uber Ubers, tier, maybe because of low kick or whatever. But overall, no. In Ubers, I mean, it for sure, like blazing. It, it in anywhere. For sure, blazing getting better in Uber. Stone Edge and low kick is enough. I guess if we, if we count in VGC, we'll put it S. We'll put it high of S. If we're counting VGC, this is a demon mod, mother freaking demon. I don't think it's S plus. I don't think S plus at all. And we're not counting VGC. If we're going to do VGC, we got to go through VGC for all of them. And if that makes well, it, not, it's, not like, it's not, I'm not, I'm not counting VGC. If we're going VGC, that. like I'll put these guys all S plus. Like what you want from me? Like, but we're not doing VGC. I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't counting it. I just look at it. I just like when, when you like, you're talking about a Pokemon that basically has, it, it looks like it has no switching pretty much. Cause it has toss, but I mean, it's a ghost. You get bringing a ghost type. It doesn't get moves for that. Crunch, yeah. They nerfed the baby. They made the baby do less damage. As it should be. It has like, scrappy, but, but, it, but, it, but it sounds like, for me looking at it, it's like Blaziken, it's, kind, it's not, it's, 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 you kind of know what it's going to do. Sort of thing. It's going to set up and attack, and its attacks are somewhat limited. Or it's case on, that because it can click Seismic Toss, you might not know what all the rest of the fucking moves are. No, that, I, not really. Kangaskhan's moves are always fake out, sucker. Side and toss, and then you have crunch, earthquake, body slam. Like it's literally like some combination of those, almost always. Let me look. You want me to look at the Uber's analysis? I look at it right now on, on stream. It sounds like it shouldn't. Like you can, it sounds like you should be able to mix it up. You can't go like fatter on this thing or something because S toss. Is that yeah. is that never a thing? Yeah, you can. You can go fabulous speed. I've done it. Yeah, it doesn't pop anymore. And it never popped in Ubers. It was bad at popping in Ubers. Oh, I see. It's using Rock Tomb. Rock Tomb. Ubers. You mean Rock Tomb? <laughs> yeah, fake Tomb. out returns as body slam crunch power punch last. Side. Why would power punch ever be secondary to side and top? That is just terrible. This is outdated. I'll go to this guy. Oh, I was looking at the side move one. Like that looks like like those moves are relative. No, I guess they're not too versatile, but they, they, it looks like it's enough. Like you just, I guess. What do you even need? What, what, why would you use Shadow Call over Crunch? Is just because the crit or like what? Mark, it just hits uh, the defense. Yeah, double the chance of defense drop. Plus two attack doesn't do anything in Ubers. You're not killing them with return or that. You want side and toss so you can always two ikio Pokemon. That's 200 damage per turn. That's 200 hmm. damage per turn. They really just only have. I mean, I guess that's how you use it. I, just for me looking at it, if you have a, a if you have one move that is guaranteed to do consistent damage, then you can just do whatever else you want with your other moves. From my perspective, that's kind of maybe it just doesn't have the move pool for it. You're, limi you're limited though when it comes to which one is this. So like when you think of like think of like Zygarde for example, like you can run thousand arrows and just three random moves pretty much. Yeah, but I guess if you don't have those three random moves to use, then it doesn't work. That's so the thing. Kang that's the thing. Like Kang, Kang was almost all fake out plus side of toss is what made it broken. Does it one shot the primals? It two shots them with seismic toss and stun rock. Yeah, you do 200 damage per turn with seismic toss. That's why it's good. The thing about Ubers is every mod has over 404 HP, so <laughs> they all have like 405 or or um, or over 400 HP. So they all have like 404, 444, 40, 4 whatever. And which one's Lottie? Which one's Latios? I feel like this is Latios. But, no, I wrong. Yeah, I don't. I literally can't tell. <laughs> All right, that's Mega Latios. Okay, competitively, A or S. The combine refresh set is broken. Thunder waving, bolt beaming, freaking living Greninja's dark pulse, Draco meteoring, like. Mm, hey, I, honestly, I, I I rarely encounter that thing. I have no opinion of it. The only one I've seen is Latios with like the three attacks. With yeah, La Latios does it too. But like Latios is one of those mods that like. It can beat all its counters. I saw things with like Thunder Wave HP Ground as well. I actually just did a video on Latios as well. Mega Latios is also straight up broken in draft too. We played with it when it was a lot. Well, I, I don't think I did. I've watched it sweep. <laughs> I got swept by Mega Latios by Mogwai. Yeah, I think it's been banned every time I've played. Yeah, it's, it's broken. I think it's an A it's to S tier. Like high tier A to S. If we have Zard, if we have Zard and A, 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 it should probably be A as well. 
Okay. But it's nasty. Like, but like how it looks though, eh. It would look better if Mega Latios didn't look just like it. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just, uh, I don't know, it got, it got some, it turned into airplane. Like, bro, bro, thing. if they did this, but swap blue on Latios and put the red on Latios, that would have been cool. That would have been fine. Like, I think that would, that would have been okay. Uh, I literally can't tell the difference between the two. So. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 there's literally no difference, dude. This one's just standing up this way. Oh, oh, never mind. I know the difference. The jet on Ladio. No, that's not even it. It's just the way its arms are. There is no difference. Yeah, I remember, Joe. <laughs> eh. Does it get moved down because of that? Does it get moved down to the A's because of that? Like mid A? Yeah, maybe like after uh, Arrow or something. That's fine. All right, Mega Latios, uh, another A competitive for sure. Draco, Bolt Beam if it wants to, Earthquake, Roost, Thunderbolt, Thunderwave, good defogger. Another like it's the thing about Latios for Mega Latios versus Mega Latios is that like Latios got stronger in special attack and it got stronger defensively, which made it beat its counters. Latios, like Life Orb Latios is stronger than this Latios, but this Latios is bulkier to the point where it can actually like also live like a random pursuit from a weaker Mon. So I don't know. I, uh, again, I think design puts it back, but I think they're about the same. Like, like this. We'll just put them right beside each other and we won't be able to tell which one's which yeah, anymore. Yep, don't know which one's which. That's it, they're gone. All right, Lopany, is that S plus? Is that S tier? I feel like it's in terms of spammable, fake out, quick attack. I S plus. You think S plus? Oh, well, competitively S, but with the design, I play S plus. Yeah, I think design puts it up to S plus too, as well. Yeah, I think design puts I mean, it up to S plus. It's just sick. It, like, it's, it's a freaking. This is what you want. Out of, if you want a Pokemon to do something, this is what you want. Like, this, this is guaranteed to do something. Oh, yes. Above Kang, above Kanga, no. Yep, Kang is gone. Taking out its pouch made it a beautiful Pokemon. Uh, it, we're doing this based on competitive first and then we're deciding if we move them up or down based on how they look Lopany for sure got a huge upgrade it does look sick and you're getting beat down by someone Lopany's easy S to start but based on design I think it's S plus 2 I agree just the difference I would never forget Lopany's D recry like that, whatever that was What, what does it do now without, um, like, if Megas came back without return? What, getting, what is it? I'm getting out of here. Uh, it clicks close you, combat. Did you Google Lopunny? Yeah. I, uh, yeah, you don't, it, you don't it go, dude, it uses close combat and U-turn. <laughs> like, what else does it need right Wait, now? Wait, it gets U-turn? It gets U-turn and triple axel. What else does it need? Why? Why? What else does it need, bro? It gets close combat, U-turn, fake out? Why do you need to click normal stab, bro? Just switch. What in the world? Hey, JJ, appreciate you. Scrappy also blocks Intimidate. Facts. It can just body slam if it wants to do a facade. Mega Lucario. That's an easy S. How it looks, easy S plus. Like, I don't know how they made Luke, I don't know how they made Lucario look cooler, but they did. Yeah. That's, they did. Yeah, that was pretty easy. And it even made, like, like, Lucario always had the option to run Nazplot versus Swords Dance. But this mon really broke it over the edge, like with Bill for that. Like, I remember Nasty Plot Vacuum Wave sets, like KOing Genesec with Stealth Rock with Vacuum Wave and stuff like that, the Flash Cannon, and then the Close Combat set is just stupid broken. Easily S. Plus. It's good. It has Meteor Mash, which is great too. Gotta be above Gengar. I don't know, man. Over Lopany and no. Gengar. I don't think it's above Gengar. I'll put it over Lopany just because it has the already competitive viability in S, plus, but I don't think I put it over Gengar at all. Competitively, Gengar literally gets to pick and choose what it kills, and it looks sick. They made an already great Pokemon look better, which is the same thing we're doing for Lucario, but it has the same thing. Gengar is just cooler. God, Mega Manetric. All right, what's Mega Manetric at? Don't think about its design when you're thinking about its competitive <laughs> placement. Do not think about its design. Do not think about the design. I, we know the design is bad. By the way, like I said, guys, this stream is sponsored by Audible, exclamation point, Audible. 
I mean, oil. even compatibility, I didn't. I don't think I ever used this thing compatibility. It was a, it was like a, it was a weird mod competitively. I think that the reason that it, it being in a, in a meta game with like AV Tangirl, Spadef, Spadef Glyscore, which it never died to that like HP Ice either. Like it was a UU mod. I think it's a B, it's a B tier mod. I feel, it's a B tier mod, like similar to like, Beedrill. Yeah, it's it's like it's like Beedrill good. Yeah, it's special sure. Beedrill, and it's like even now there's no hidden power. But it's like relatively linear. Like you, you know what it's gonna yeah. do in that. And in its meta game, it had to like it had to compete with Latias in the tier and like Mega Alt and stuff. It couldn't beat. Miss it, Odin. I think it's there now. Design wise, do we push it next to Garchomp? Nah, you put that shit in C. Put it, put it after Ampharos. Damn, Damn, but I'm not even mad though. Like I agree. That thing looks dumb. Uh, <laughs> that design holds it all the way back, dude. I, I don't even disagree. The only reason Garchomp can't be down here is because Garchomp is too strong. Manetric though, Electric Stab would only overheat to work with. Yeah, let's just get out. I think the biggest thing about main that also held it back is that it existed in a meta game with Mega Swamper. So you have like you you can't touch it, period. Right? Like it had to always run HP Ice. Design is good. Are you serious? Now what makes what what makes it good? What what makes this good? This is the worst mod to pick on a thumbnail. <laughs> what is the banana? <laughs> <laughs> they should have just made it look like a banana. This would have been great. <laughs> Yo, this would have been a fire Mega Manetric. <laughs> yeah, they should have just went with that design. Pretty good design. This is not fire, bro. I'm sorry, but if you, if you even if you look it up on YouTube. Okay, let me, let me get this out of here real quick. Let's see. Mega Manetric. The only good Mega Manetric art in the game was the art that I... If you look at Mega Manetric, the only good Mega Manetric art in the entire game is this. And that's only because you can't see the stupid stuff that's coming out of it. What up, Phantom? Literally. I hear myself coming out, Gator. Oh, you can't wait, what? I can hear myself coming up. Like, look at this other. I was forced to use this. Look at that terrible art. Can you still hear? Yeah. Hello? Yeah, yeah I do. What yeah. the fuck? How? I don't know why I randomly have him, but it did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mega Manetric, bro. Competitively. S, easily, easily S. Are you good, good? My friend? Maul is such an upgrade, and I already liked how regular Maul I looked too. It might even be S plus. Okay. What do you think about Mega Maul? Why? Maul, Maul. Sorry. Competitively, like S. Yeah, easily S, right? Easily, um, easily yes. Yeah, I mean, like, you, you, you can't switch into it. Yep. It's harder to switch into than all the mods behind it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Does design make it S plus? Like, so, Mala was no. a, Mala was already a cool Pokemon. It was already a pretty cool Pokemon. Now I got two jaws. This is a really nice art. Yeah. For me, it stays in S. Yeah, it's just, it's weird. I don't think it's S plus either. I thought it looked cooler. This art is definitely fire, though. I agree. In game, it looks better. I think I think strong S, like higher S, is good. I think it's fine right here. Yeah, Google Images is definitely uh, definitely scared. Metacham, another S, right? Easy. Yep. Uh, I don't think it's designed as cooler than regular Metacham. Like, I think it's just like. I think Same it's, thing as Mawa. Yeah. Like, they're both, like, almost impossible to switch into. But their design is just like, I mean, I guess. Yeah, it's like. like it's, yeah, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't put it. It doesn't hold it back. 
It doesn't hold it back. It's just it's the same mod. Yeah. I don't even know why they went with this route with uh, Mega Metacham because like, please have good images. So like Mega Metacham is a mod of pure power, but it looks like it's like focusing and thinking about ways to unlock its inner self and stuff like that. But like, I feel like they should have made it. I mean, it's a high jump kicking Pokemon. Its legs should be bigger than the other ones. <laughs> My. Its legs should be bigger. Like, I don't I know mean, why. Dude, this is round. Yeah, his chest is in his legs. He's like, what more could you want? No, actually, no. Never mind. Look, this one has the bigger legs. What? What are you talking about? I yeah. got some big ass legs. This one got bigger. Bigger. Eh, yeah, it stays where it is. Oh, Mega uh, Metagross. Mega Metagross Bolt turn, the classic. Oh, <laughs> garbage. Get that garbage out of here. <laughs> ah, nice team right here. Nice team with no switching to opposing Mega Metagross. <laughs> All right, Gross is, Gross is an easy S to start off with, right? Can we put S plus to start I, off? I think it's S plus. Yeah, it might be S plus. It might be S plus. Okay, I was just making sure we were on the same page. Now, in terms of how it looks... I don't I think, think it looks still fine. I don't think it's uh, an upgrade from Mega Meta uh, from regular Metagross, dude. I don't at all. Like it, it's it's not. It's it, all they did was give it a horn. I, it's and more not, legs. It's not, an, it's not an upgrade. It's not a downgrade though. But, but it's not. Yeah, it's like a side grade. Like they, a they gave it. They, they gave it a horn. I actually think Mega. Meta, I think regular Metagross does look really cool. All they did was give it a horn and give it some back legs. That's all you need. A this is horn. literally why you like Aerodactyl. Yeah, uh, no, because regular Aerodactyl has nothing. It's literally just a smooth-bodied rock. It's a smooth rock, and then they made it all pointy. This mod broke. This broken. was shit. This mod broken. Period. Though this mod always broken. This mod beats every counter it has. This mod. It's too strong and too fat and too fast and too everything. Yup. Do we just like automatically put the Mewtwo's in S plus just because they're Mewtwo's? Uh, Mewtwo. Wait, which one? Which one is the one that's the fighting type? X. Mewtwo X. Screw that one. I mean, they they both go in S plus, but like Mewtwo Y higher. Yeah, I agree. I think Mewtwo X is like the back. I think regular Mewtwo looks cooler than Mewtwo X. I think Mewtwo Y looks really cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, there's not much to talk about. They're Ubers. They hit hard. Uh, stab plus Psychic. It's like. A ridiculous Gallade, you know? I also agree. I, I like Mewtwo Y a lot more. I don't think the design throws it, it throws its competitiveness too far. It's it's hard it's hard to do this. But I do think that like they gotta stay here. Or I can make an S plus just because Uber, but like not actually count it as S plus. If you want. What does that even mean? You're leaving S plus. Okay. Mega Pidgeot. Nice hurricane. Nice spamming hurricane. Nice heat wave, hit the power ground, and then you're done. See. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess you play hyper beam. Oh man. The thing is, I don't even disagree with you. It's just so funny to think about it. Why the hell would I use Mega Pidgeot when freaking Tyrantar everywhere, bro? Oh, let me U turn and take a million percent. <laughs> oh, let me use the refresh set that's not gonna be anything. That's a C, that's a lower tier, maybe lower tier B, C, no, I'd use all of these before Mega Pidgeot. Yeah, this is just hard stuck C. Yeah, design is I remember, I think, I think it's like, what was it, work up set or, like, you know, you're in, a, you're in a tough spot if you actually work up. Yeah, there was a, the set that you that was quote unquote broken was work up, refresh, roost, um, hurricane, and it still didn't beat stall. <laughs> like, realistically, like people, they wrote in the analysis to beat stall, but... Uh, Good stalls still beat it. They just run the hell ago. And like, they just pressured it. You literally pressure it with Toxic. And then when it's forced to Roost slash Refresh, you just go out into uh, the hell ago and beat it 1v1. And then they can't even Pursuit Trap you because you click Protect versus Crocodile. And if they click Pursuit, you just Grass Knot. And like, it's a wrap. So yeah, I'm good with it being C. Design didn't really do much. Pidgeot was an okay Pokemon at best, at worst. No, no, no. The design is at least some of an improvement. Regular Pidgeot looks dumb. I don't care what anyone says. It just doesn't. It's, what, I what's think it doing? Pidgeotto is the best out of the line. 
Pidgeotto is the best like, seller. They, that's, that's what I'm saying. They could have just stopped that Pidgeotto and it would have been fine. But then they had to make this Pidgeot thing. But to be honest, though. What is that? Oh, that's Sun and Moon stuff. That's where we go when there's leaks. Wow. It, yeah, it's just... It's just... It's Pidgeotto with its hair sleek back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a little upgrade. Uh, it doesn't really do much for it, though. It stays where it is. Yeah, it's, it stays in C. Pinter? Oh, man. that That is a monster. That is a monster competitively. That, that's true bird spam, bro. That one with Talonflame and they're met in Gen 6. <laughs> yeah, that, that that's a threat. You want to talk about threat? That That's a threat. Like, you can't really, like, you better, like, even Zap does, because sometimes just die. So yeah, this thing. yeah, if it, South Rock, yeah. And it can run Stone Edge too if you really want to. But is it, like, a threat to the point of, like, Metacham and stuff? Or is it a threat to, like, Zardwai Gardevoir? I feel like it's Z more Zardwai Gardevoir than it is Metacham Mawal. <laughs> Cause like it's, it's like it's one of those i guess yeah it's kind of maybe on the same thing as like zard white guard it's like at the same time it's like it's the po one of those megas that you probably prepare for the least yeah so when you see it it's it has a high chance of really just getting to your team yeah especially if they if you can't control the hazard game it's weird so i guess in that it's kind of like zard y in that regard yeah that's what i'm saying like i would put it like like just ranking i put it like between these guys like here somewhere here but I think one of the biggest drawbacks was Pinsir was, you know, it, it couldn't come in prior to Mega Evolving. It wasn't coming in anyway, but like you had to get the free turn with Pinsir to use it, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like it usually used it on like a Volt Turn team or something. Yeah, you had to get your free turn, you see what they have, and depending on what's in front, like it would have to be like an offensive threat for you to kill it. Besides that, it just doesn't do a lot. I don't know, it's, it's weird. Uh, in terms of design though, Pinsir's already a really cool Pokemon. They just gave it wings. I think it looks sick. I, that, I mean, like, too. regular yeah. Pinsir is, like, it's not really looking threatening too much. But then, like, Mega Pinsir looks, that, that thing looks scary. I don't want to see that. How to care for your Pinsir. What? How to care for your... Look at this little kid getting Pinsir, bro. That's not the Pokemon for this kid. What is going on? Oh, yeah, I forgot. This thing had terrible art, too. This is, like, this, yep, yep. Very fitting that these both had terrible art. <laughs> Why didn't they give us... Oh, they, they gave us Mega Scissor. What am I saying? I was like, why didn't they give us Mega Scyther? I forgot. Yeah, what, what do you... Okay. Uh, design's better for sure. Way more threatening. Pointer horns. The legs look cool. It is definitely like a creepy Pokemon though, but I think that fits for what Mega Pinsir is. Yeah, I'm not going to move it up because of that. I think it stays. Wait, where do you have it? A. I don't think it's S. Yeah, that, it's, that's that's fine. All right, Mega Ray. So let's go ahead and put you in the top of uh, S+. Plus. Design is crazy. You are the most broken Pokemon ever. They made a new tier for you. Yeah. That's, I, there's nothing to talk about. This is the type of Pokemon. Bro, I almost lost to Max. Like, in Pokemon. Are you talking about in-game? What are you talking about? In a, a competitive Wi-Fi battle. I almost lost to Max. You know what, Max Ezzy? Yeah, that's because he had Mega Ray Causa. I think so that's, you're saying that Max says he's garbage, but he almost beat you because you had he had Mega Rayquaza. I'm saying that he does not have the experience that I had, and that garbage. I almost lost straight into him. Okay. I, I because understand. he had a Mega Rayquaza. I understand. That. This mod, bro. This mod is Terrakion in black and white one. This mod is Choice Band Terrakion in black and white one. You will get your kill if you use it. Does not matter your skill level. That's it. S plus design. S plus. Make a save, live, bro. What we thinking? <sighs> it got banned in the end of our ass. Uh, it's just, but I don't yeah, think. it's just it's disgusting. It's just disgusting, dude. I mean, like, it, it's too much utility. Like, I, it's definitely like uh, at least A, if not S. Just like true, there's nothing that can replace what it does. Yeah, I think it's S. I think like, it's S. Like, like it's not flashy, but like, you, okay, okay. It, 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 you're not getting it off the field most of the time. This mon single-handedly defined stall as well and got banned in the end of Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire the last day. It's S. It, it's S, period. It's S. Like, there's, you cannot... You can't deny what this mon did to competitive. It's our first Magic Bounce Pokemon 
that is not arguably trash. And I'm sorry if you like Espeon or Zatu, but there's way too much weaknesses going on there. Zatu loses to most of the stealth rockers. Espeon loses to everything. Like... Well, okay, hold on. Espeon does not lose everything. Let's calm down. Espeon's decent. Yeah, okay. That's crazy. Sure. Let me use Espeon over top of Lele. Yeah, it's, this is S. <laughs> What's that? Why you can't, can't, you can't no, compare no, that? I mean, Espeon is everything. Espeon is everything, bro. So I got to use Espeon over top of Lele. Look, you remember a good old SP pass? That nice baton pass? Classic. Yeah, okay. It's, it's Gator classic. Man, this is, de this is definitely S, though. For sure. It it defined a, a, it defines a meta. Yeah. We're ranking them both. We're ranking them competitively first and then design-wise. I also think it's design as an upgrade from Sableye, even though all it did was put the jewel that it had in its eye up there. Like, I, like, I mean... It, it works with its lore. It works with its lore. Like, what it's doing. Magic bounce. I have no idea about its lore. But I like, mean, the lore behind it, but the lore that I made. It works with the lore that I made for it. Oh. I mean, yeah, it, it has a big shield. It's like big shield gardener, dude. It's just, yeah. it's just sitting there. Oh my god, that's a great way. I love that. Oh, that's a great card. What is that? Twenty six hundred defense. Big shield yeah. gardener. That's that's a Yu Gi Oh card. Look at this. A hundred attack. Twenty six hundred defense. I'm gonna tell you straight up. I put this thing in attack mode three times in my life, <laughs> and I've gotten damage, bro. That's big shield that's gardener. Right there. <laughs> that is. So, I mean, I don't, I think the design is, it, it's cool enough and it matches the theme. Yep. So, I definitely think it's somewhere in S. Yeah, it's S. Uh, Mega Salamence, easy, easy S plus. Competitively, easy S plus. Like, this Pokemon sure. beat Pokemon with just Dragon Dance, Roost, Return, and Refresh. I remember setting up in front of Rotoms, hoping they'd burn me. So, that way I could win with Facade. This Pokemon is, yeah. is broken. Now, design-wise, I think it's kind of whack, which is why I'm putting it bottom tier S, like like bottom S. But I just got I got Mewtwo and them lower because they have to be here by default. Though I probably put Mewtwo Y over Mega like, Mints. Regular Salamis looks like it has wings, but then Mega Salamis looks like it's like it's wearing a like a it's parachute, a moon, thing yeah, or something. It's a damn crescent moon. Like it looks like it's not its own wings. Like it looks like it's like wearing something that has the wings on it. So that thing in the front like yeah. it's like strapped in that is meh i think it's like behind mega mewtwo y in terms of design i think it's one of the most broken pokemon ever as well it's broken in every format uh i do remember or i saw you this mode was so broken it got banned before we got a game that came out I, that's it got banned in or i saw you beta something like that exalted right that, that stays there like that that's there's nothing inside of it Right, almost done, Gator. Uh, we got Mega Sceptile. Mm. Oh, well. C, C, B ish. Probably B, C. Like either low B, high C. I, the, 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 I, I, I've really used it, so I wouldn't know much. Yeah, I think it's a C. Like, I'd use it. It over. doesn't get, it doesn't get Draco, right? No, did not get Draco. Uh, Dragon Pulse is weak. Focus Blast misses. Leaf Storm and Giga Drain, what you had. Sub C was okay. For its fast stuff. Lightning Rod was very threatening. If you actually had it, if it actually got it and it hit its attacks, it was threatening. For sure. But like, it's definitely not yeah. like, I don't know. It's weird. I think, I don't, like, it feels like it's limited on the teams you can use it on. Because like, it's, it's kind of in the same thing as Pinsir, but just not as threatening as in like, you cannot just switch this thing in most of the time. Yep. It has to already be mega. Yeah. Has to be mega. Um, in terms of design, I don't think it's better, better than Setal, personally. That's my personal opinion. Um, it barely looks any different from. Yeah, it's just, it's just a tree. That's what I'm saying. Like it's not. Like, <laughs> it's like, just a tree. <laughs> like the whole Sceptile Girl Val line is great, but like <laughs> Mega Sceptile is whatever. Like if you want to talk about a line that did not miss with any, you got the Scyther Sci uh, Scizor Mega Scizor line right there. That's the line that did not miss with anything. I don't think so, Alan Dilly. I think that design's fine, but uh, but yeah, this I think this stays where it is. Uh, there's not much yeah. I can do with it. Mega Scizor, another defining Pokemon. I, I'd say S, like low S. Like, Mega Scizor is the type of Pokemon that will make any Pokemon put in work because it's bulky, can use her now slowly. It can also sweep. It's bulkier than Skarmory. Like, and it has one weakness. And Mon's broken. Yeah, it's an oh, S. It's broken. an S. It's an S, period. It's a broken Mon. What? Mega Scizor had a fine design, dude. 
Mega Scissor's design is fine. It's not holding it back, that's for sure. Look, Scissor's a great I, Pokemon. It, like, it literally looks like a more bulkier version of regular Scissor. Which is exactly what it is. It's yeah, I think that's what it for what it like. is, it's exactly what it is. And this art right here completely just proves you wrong. Right here. This art is fire. The and you know what? Not even taking the art. Forget this art. Look at it in the anime. This looks flames. It looks like a little like little Mega Man. Yeah, this is flames. This is it in the anime. This is literally it's canon art. It's S. It's 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 annoying to go against. It it's yeah. like I mean it looks fine. Yeah. I think it looks fine. That's fine. It's S. We're talking competitively and design, Ike. It's S. I'll keep it here. Uh, put that put that thing above Make it Save Boy. Wow. This mon define. I guess this mon is perfect. <laughs> no more roost though? What do you mean? No more roost. It can still roost. We're not talking about battle spot 3v3 or whatever. It gets the roost. Scissor can definitely roost, bro. It can also knock off and stuff. Yeah. All good. Mega Shark. This is not a threat, bro. It's only bad thing. This mod is a threat, bro. The strong jaw crunch. It got close comment now too. Whatever. We can't use that. We can't talk about that for our argument for because it, it didn't exist. It has psychic fangs. Crunch all you needed, bro. This mod is scared. Mega Sharpedo plus spikes is my favorite UU play style in that generation. Yeah, and the mod is garbage. It's a good job. You use a garbage mod. It's not garbage. Think that thing is it's it's like C. Or like low C, high B. It's, it's, you mean low B, not, low not B, right. low B, high C? Is that what you meant? Is that what I, yeah, whatever, whatever. I was, I'll yeah, yeah. completely take an area like this. I think that's very appropriate for Shark. Shark literally wins with Spike. All they need is Stealth Rock for the most part. And no, no, no. Calm down there, buddy. Calm down there. Bro, that's all it needs, bro. All it needs is Stealth Rock to get kills, bro. Jeez, Freaking Hyd down. Hydreigon at full has a chance to be Oko by Ice Day. Put it back one more. Just gotta put it back one more. I'm not putting it like Garchomp. <laughs> Freaking crappy Garchomp. I'm just shark. One more. This mod got close comment now in flip turn. No one cares what it got now. Put it back one Unforked. more. Unforked. That boy trash. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's it's uh, It can work in any tier. I think it's a lot better right now if it existed, obviously. Yeah, I give it Fish's Run facts. All right, slow bro. Mega bro. Dude, I mean, I, I think it's good. Yeah, it's uh, it's B at minimum. I think it's A. You think Mega Bro is in the Zard oh, Y? I, when, I, when I use XY, the times I used it, like it didn't die. It, it's it's literally like and like when I would watch tournament games, the few times I would, it was just Bro against Bro every time in the end. If they have Bros, like it, it, you just sit there and combine against each other with some nonsense. Yeah, uh, the, it's like the inability to not be crit. Yeah, yeah. the inability to not be crit is crazy. I like, remember you one on your team that can switch into this and deal with it. You kind of just lose because yeah. it's gonna just either skull burn and get out, or yeah. and then that's the mega immediately either. Yeah, that's the big thing about bro. I think I, I can go like low A for that. I think the big thing as well is like I remember one Hito Fajito we did where it was Combine Slow Bro at plus four, and we crit it with Mega Fabio's Volt Switch and won the game. And we only did that because Fabio could crit because of Mold Breaker. It was it was <laughs> iconic. Yeah, I could I could say lower tier A. I'd say it like. Even though Heracross is used way more than uh, Bro, in terms of what they need to do, Bro does it. Period. Like, Bro would do it. Bro eats. Bro eats for breakfast. Yeah, it's just the versatility. Like, you don't have to Mega, so you can play as regular Bro. Yeah. And then, like, I mean, you, you, you like, hard counter a healthy amount of the metagame. Yep. With just one Pokemon, pretty much. Yep. Is that a donation? Pinkster, yeah, Pinkster, thank you for the ten dollar uh, donation. Thank you, I appreciate that. I don't know why you said that, but thank you. Wait, what happened? I have Gator. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, a, it's a word. It's not anything bad. It's a, it's a legitimate word. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm like saying in my head is like if I say it fast or slow, does it sound like anything? They just, but it's like it's just it's a damn flavor. I just said this. <laughs> like the... Okay then. Um, 
Later, buddy. Appreciate the donation, fam. Uh, okay. Megalix. Oh, did we talk, you talk about the design? Did you think it stays at A with design? Yeah, I think I think Slowbro's fine. Like, I mean, it just got swallowed by the shell, which makes sense for shell armor. <laughs> like, what, what am I gonna argue with that? No. No, I mean, that, make, that makes sense. Yeah, it's shell armor. It got eaten by a shell. So did it like did it like eat its feet or something, or is his feet like still in the shell? I'm sure the feet are still in the shell, just mushing around. That just, that just be weird. So you, you like just knowing you have feet and you can't use them, you just gotta stand on your tail. It's nice and squishy. Slowbro getting tortured. It's unfortunate. <laughs> All right, Mega Licks. We like C. Competitively, is is it's. Mm, no, it's Mega really Mega Licks was UU, bro. Mega Licks was UU. It, it fought with it compared even to Agron and stuff like that. No, I don't care. It's it's like. <sighs> it is not Glalie camera up level. It actually does stuff. Well. Oh, sure. It's not Glalie camera up level. It doesn't mean we can just it, insert it into D, though. I mean, we can just throw it in a little bit. Look at Gen 7 UU for a sec. Yep, Mega Steel is Gen 7 UU. Straight up there. Let's look what else is Gen 7 UU. It beat Mega Arrow. It beat Altaria. It beat Beedrill. It beat Bishar. It beat Blissey. This was a UU staple, bro. It's, it's, it's just booty. It's just, I mean, I guess it's not like that, but like, I. I think it's, do, you, do you think this is? Do you think Mega Steelix is better than Mega Agron? I think they're around the same. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I think Mega I Agron think has more. I think Mega Agron has more utility. Mega that's, that's what I'm thinking. Of, is like, I mean, I guess Steelix is still. It's, it's still like decently strong. Steelix is a define. It was a defining uh, and cursed Steelix too with the Dire Ball. Oof. It was a defining UU Pokemon. It beat, I mean, it, beat, it beat the tier's like strongest mom, which was Calm My Lottie, and like something Mega Agron couldn't do because they ran Gigable Havoc. Mm -hmm. I think I think competitively it's 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 B. I mean it's B competitively. B? I was gonna give you C. No way, it's B competitively. Bro, it is B competitive. It's better than all the other ones behind it. Well, all those other ones that are in B are because they're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the healthy amount of those mods in B are there because they're ugly. <laughs> Okay, what do you think? <laughs> I'll give you back a B. Competitively, the only mods that can might be able to argue with it are like Pidgeot and, and Minetric in a sense because they were UU2, but they're ugly, so they go down there. <laughs> Steelix, is not, Steelix is okay. For what no, it Steelix is, is not ugly. Yeah, Steelix is good. Like, I mean, it's ugly, but like it's a cool ugly. Even if, even if we put Steelix in B, I think, just based on competitive, I still think it's, it's design would put it up here. Like, I think it's the, I would put it in B overall. Yeah. Like I think at least like a C, a C, but then like I think this design is pretty cool, so I, I'd put it in B, even though I mean it's not like it's not ugly, but like it's like a good ugly. Yes. Like it's it's, it's a threatening thing. It's me mugging. It's, it's it's a good Pokemon. It's a it's a strong one. It's a threat. Like if we talk about ugly, look at Mega Pert. But like if we talk about competitive. Like... Wait 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 wait. What do you mean ugly? Okay. See. I see. I see. Your, your taste is not uh. There's no uh, consistency with your taste, but that's fine. Well, if you mean like, if you, you mean bad ugly or good ugly? I, I mean ugly. Is ugly. You mean like, it, 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 I, I think good ugly. I mean, it's a threat. This, it's, it's this, menacing. this is good ugly, okay? Big Shield Garden? <laughs> that's, good, that's good ugly. <laughs> but I'm sorry, but this pert stuff? I gotta give this one. That is a threat. That is a humongous threat. I don't know, man. This is kind of. That's up, what Heracross should have been doing. <laughs> the muscles? That's what Heracross needed. Well, they did. They just didn't finish drawing it. I don't know, man. Pert weird. Oh, wait. Hold up. This, this is respectable. Oh, my God. Look at it swimming. Yeah, that, that boy is a threat. Are you kidding me? He is not messing around. <gasps> Ooh, fish is red. Wait, I guess that? No, of course not. You crazy? All right, perk competitively. A. A. Like for a. like, yeah, you're talking about for rain teams. I mean, it's like it's like a staple. It's a staple. Pretty much. It gets flip turned now and bulk up and like liquidation and stuff too. It doesn't get it back then, but perk competitively is uh, is a easily. Now yeah. design. 
You like it. I no, personally, I like regular mega. I like regular Swampert a lot more personally. And look, uh, regular Swampert is like nice and timid. Like he's just like a, a cutesy little mud frog thing or whatever it's supposed to be. Right, mega balls, boom, big ass <laughs> muscles, big boy. You're not playing games. There's different Pokemon all together. <laughs> it's okay. Like, that boy stays in A. His design, his design is yeah, not pulling it back. That's fine. It's not pulling it back. That's fine. It's somewhere here. Bubbladies. <laughs> Competitively, Mega Tyranitar is probably A or S, right? Competitively, it's top tier. I, for, for me, it's S. Yeah, competitive. I agree with it being S. I think it's. Dragon Dance was at times ridiculously threatening. Support levels are busted and everything. Now, are we going to let its ugliness hold it back, Gator, in this? No. Because this mod is ugly as hell. I think that's why it's deemed bottom of S. I don't even think it's that ugly. Stop it. I mean, it, it, compared to regular Tyranitar, it's, it's like... Compared eh, to regular Tyranitar, like, it's a freaking... If you regular Tyranitar and you just had this as Tyranitar, I don't think you'd notice it as much. Oh, no. I think I noticed. I, I think I noticed. <laughs> It's not. This is our, not that This ugly. is the thumbnail. That, this is this is the thumbnail that I made Blunder make. But when you have that that the agency thing or whatever that that thumbnail, I don't think it's ugly in that. Yeah, because the agency provides. But like, this okay. is not. <laughs> but okay, competitively, it's one hundred percent S tier. But I don't, I don't, I don't think it's like so ugly. It's not like Mega from, Magnetic from, where it's like it's so much uglier that from, it's just terrible. From this crouching position, it looks all right. Like if it stays sideways and always attacks. I think the design is whack, but I don't think it's whack enough to pull it down to A. I don't think the design is like... Then again, look at what we did with Charizard, though. Hmm. I personally think Charizard is S. What? I do. Not Charizard just... Y? Charizard Y? No, Charizard Y is actually ugly. I'm not, like, talking about, I'm not talking about design. I'm not talking about design. I'm talking about offensively. It's freaking S. But... We pulled it down here because of the design. Are we not really gonna pull down Tyranitar because of the design too? Because no, because it's not it's not that bad looking. I think it looks okay. Eh. Only in this form, man. Jesus Christ. Also, I think competitively it's like a high S. So it, like it, if you it, 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 down, it is a high S competitively. Or we'll put, I'll put it out of the back just for that. Mega Tyranitar is really ugly though. Alright, last mom, Mega Venusaur. A or S, right? That's that's another one of those mods where like if you don't have anything on like you, that's be, the mod you that will you lose. Kill. You will lose. Uh, and obviously we're not talking about like us giving it like uh earth power now or whatever, but like, but like it's just like let's talk about like the just the fat. Like yeah, fat, tanky, the, hidden power, fire, like, leech seed. That common. So when you do it's like it's kinda like the pincer thing. Like it's it's a mod that can just literally just take over the game. Yeah, when you see it. I can see it being A. Like, yeah, A or S. I think his design doesn't help it at all. It's freaking Venusaur. No. It's 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 A. It's A. If we're gonna do Charizard yeah. that way, it's A. Yeah, it's just like A, overall. I think I agree with this. Mm. Might move up Kanga. Might move up Blaziken. I put Zard in S, but I do think its design holds it back as well. I don't think Venusaur is S. I don't think Venusaur has anything on these guys. You think Audino's still too high? <laughs> no, like the ones in S, those are like meta-defining Pokemon, pretty mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. Sableye's a meta define yeah, 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 100%. All the meta-defining Pokemon. And the ones in A are just like solid threats in their own way. Yeah, and then B is like, can be used, but whatever. C is like, they're either okay, but ugly. <laughs> No, yeah, C is the okay but ugly tier. And then they just it just completely cuts down after that. They suck after. Yeah. Why is Lopini so high? Because Lopini is already an S mon, like period. And its design was what pushed it to S plus. It's not competitive. It's competitive plus design. I think design wise, it's one of the best ones. Yeah, it's easily one of the best ones. In design. You do. Yeah, Mega Lady does look dope. That's why it's not E. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I think that's I think that's 
Yeah, this list is top heavy, but I think it makes sense before it is. I like this list. I can agree with it. I mean, mine wouldn't have been so top heavy. I told, I told you, the septile should have been shot down. Septile garbage. Manetric <laughs> garbage. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that, guys. We'll see ya. We'll see y'all next time. I appreciate y'all coming through as well. I might just upload this tomorrow because it was a it was a fun video. I gotta edit out some Google searches. Or not. Oh. Or not. See if anyone met see if everyone sees it. They won't even know.